Welcome to Hazelmere, or the uh, outskirts thereof. Join us at the beginning of another walk. Uh, this time we're off to Godalming from Hazelmere on the trail that's called uh, the Four Stations Way. So, um, yeah, that obviously entails walking. Hang on, just trying to find my way here. Walking, uh, well, near enough parallel to uh, the railway line there. There's Godalming Station just at the end, just out of shot there. Uh, yeah, walking almost parallel to the railway line. It's about 11 miles or so. Um, yeah, from Hazelmere to Godalming via Whitley and Milford. Right. Um, yeah, about a mile or so in. Still a bit pavementy for my liking. But apparently we're getting to the first bridal way of the day in 0.3 miles. Uh, that means I can uh, untether Arthur, who proves a bit of a hindrance in uh, urban areas because obviously I can't let him off the lead. He's a big chap, so sort of wherever he wants to go, tends to pull me. And um, sometimes he wants to go in the road, which is uh, always amusing when there's a car coming. Absolutely no sense at all. Uh, yeah. Anyway, as mentioned, we are walking the Four Stations Way. Starts in Hazelmere, runs parallel to the um, <coughs> railway line, uh, which runs ultimately from Portsmouth to Waterloo, and then uh, but we're following Hazelmere, Whitley, Milford and Godalming. We might even turn into the five stations way as we're gonna continue on to Farncombe. So, you know, we're uh, pioneers of this particular trail. <coughs> Some leafy suburbs here. It's all very prim and proper. So yeah, me and Arthur are sticking out like a sore thumb. Although it's just a, a short one today, I've got all the usual provisions, sandwiches, flask of coffee, banana. Um, yeah, I haven't got anything for Arthur, apart from a bit of water. He ate before he came out. And um, anyway, Arthur doesn't need carbohydrate to keep him going. Dogs, dogs uh, use fat for energy. So he's got plenty of that to tap into. Yeah, there are no um, official, there's no official signage uh, for this particular walk. So I've had to download uh, uh, the route to my uh, Garmin, my cycle computer, and uh, yeah, take my cues off that. I generally do anyway it's it's pretty good uh well having said that we're only a couple of miles in so you know when we find ourselves uh exchanging pleasantries with welsh people i know it's the, it's shite but uh, uh yeah so far it's doing the job Wrong turn of the day. Only a few hundred metres, of course, but yeah, just goes to show that 
good map reader is uh, absolutely uh, paramount to a successful day out of foot. relying on new technology to get me to where I want to be. <clears throat> Bit more of a faff though, it has to be said. Arthur waiting patiently for you to let him through the gate. There you go, mate. Oh. To a beautiful meadow. There's a drinking vessel for uh, cattle there, which suggests that there's cattle somewhere. Oh, and there is a, it's a buzzard flying up there. Just ducked into the trees. Always nice to see a buzzard or a red kite. Lovely looking birds. You can see just over the bra, on the, on the very horizon of the North Downs which is where we're heading. problem with Arthur, he hasn't got a poseable thumb so he can't open the gate for me. Slalom down here. Good for mountain biking. We're going to make shift bridge that. I'm just having a bit of a paddle in that stream clean actually. Bridge made up of railway sleepers. Can't see him. Oh, no, there's alpacas over there. I can't see a bull. Let's risk it off. Come on. over there. It's all right. Arthur's off lead anyway. If he was going to charge either of, us, either of us, it wouldn't be me with a bit of that. Make a beeline for Arthur. Leaving me to walk peacefully to the next gate. And 
ask her to do an impromptu 1500 laps of the field. Leave that alone. Jesus, alpaca shite. Either that or a rabbit, it's just been uh, it's a sort of rabbit outhouse. I'm about to get mooed at. No. Just a good hard stare. Into the calf over there. See the train line just beyond them. Well, never really out of earshot uh, of, the, of the train line here, which is actually quite nice. I suppose they buzz along once every quarter of an hour or so, either on the route to London, Waterloo, or down south to Portsmouth. Which way I'd be rather be going. And it isn't towards the north. Oh. So Arthur's going to come face to face with this little Yorkshire Terrier now. Dogs, Yorkshire Terriers. <laughs> Good value for mummy. In terms of, you get a lot of bang for your buck with the Yorkshire Terrier. Sorry, not Yorkshire Terrier, the Jack Russells. Yeah, yeah, you get a lot of bang for your buck with a Jack Russell. They can do a lot of walking. And uh, yeah, they're feisty. Yeah. Look, maybe a little bit too bite uh, barky. Arthur, stop. Right, this is an interesting part of the route. One that I hadn't expected. Basically walking on a pavementless A road at the moment. Uh, and we're having to pull in whenever cars come along. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And lorries. Sort of panics when larger lorries go by, and yeah, 
It's horrible, basically. Wasn't expecting this at all. According to the map, we're only on it for 0.2 of a mile, but that's, that's 0.2 miles too long, in my opinion. Especially when you've got a big dog with you. Anyway, I'll stop moaning now. We've got on with the job at hand. Bear with. Yeah, so, you know, that, that was just getting too dangerous, to be quite frank. Uh, what the hell that road is doing on a, uh, on a long distance walk, I've no idea. But uh, yeah, we're just going through the woods uh, on a non-script path. Oh, God. Well, it's not a path. It's nothing, it's just woods. Ah, yeah, that was a bit silly. In the end, we ended up going through some woods just to get off the road. Talking about dense jungle, thick jungle, dense woodland like that, just with no path in the middle. Uh, yeah, I've no idea why you put a, a stretch of A road in a long distance walk, but uh, yeah, never mind. Onwards. Looks like we're going back under uh, another train track. Well, the same train track, but just another tunnel. So we're sort of snaking uh, to the east and west of the the line of the railway line. Brimston butterfly trailing after there. Oh, he's just landed. There's he gone there. He is. The, the countryside has been given a serious dousing of colour by the spring. It's just amazing. It's happened almost, you know, not overnight, but it feels like that. Green, green, green. And we had some rain last night as well, so it's sort of woken some of the spring smells up as well. Everything's blooming. It's blooming lovely. Where the gamekeeper sits. Keeping an eye out for his quarry, which generally come in the uh, form of little pheasants. You don't really do anyone any harm at all. Although, uh, they're probably a nuisance to farmers as a deer and foxes. You know, and we do rely on farmers a lot, but you know, I think, you know, there's a there's a line where uh, it becomes, you know, pest control and bloodlust. And I think that's regularly overstepped. 
All you've got to do is thumb through a few of the magazines in WH Smith. You'll find uh, whole sections devoted to folk who like pointing full bore shotguns at the heads of rabbits and blowing them off. But you know. Each to their own, as they say. Incidentally, Arthur's breed, the Vizsla, is a hunter pointer retriever and they're meant to accompany huntsmen out on their uh, shoots so they can basically identify the prey and then uh, fetch it and uh, bring it back to their uh, bring it back to their master uh, yeah once it's been dispatched Arthur wouldn't do that he just gobble it down feathers and all alright uh, stop Approaching another road. Never a favourite with the walk. Quaint old country lane. They're carrion eaters, buzzards. Or is that the red kite? Can't remember which. One of them will feast on the remains of dead things. The other one will attack smaller birds or rodents. Can't remember. Something you don't always see down a uh, footpath. It's like the remnants of an old food van or something. Going up this way. Speaking of red kite. Two there. On the hunt over this recently harvested field. a hay field so we're going to be left to have to dry we've been bailed up awesome
was the third one. Three red kites now. Okay. Foul. Looking at Arthur with some disdain. Come on, I've not wanted it. Got Arthur's on his way to uh, who's got the biggest stick competition. I mean, how uncomfortable does that look? Very. But, you know, if he had his way, he'd have that until we got home in about two hours' time. Nutcase. It's all happening over there. Hotel. All right, unbelievably, I've actually bypassed one of the four stations by mistake. Uh, I think we must have gone very close to it, but I thought. Um, we were coming up to Whitley, but we've gone by it. We were in fact coming up to Milford. So yeah, nine miles gone. I thought we were, we had a few too many miles on the clock for us to still be in Whit, uh, Whitley. But um, yep, so yeah, this is the third, third station of the four stations route. Next up, Godalming, which is a mile or so down the road. And we're there. 
been quite a slog actually. But yeah, good fun, nevertheless. The old parsley lined bridle bay, very nice. We make the final descent down into Godalming. Probably be about 11 miles all told, plus an extra mile uh, to get home. 12 miles or so. Not a bad day's work. About half a day's work. Final descent down into Godalming Station. Ooh, past Godalming Station anyway. So we've got just shy of 12 miles on the clock, meaning either my GPS is reading incorrectly or we took multiple wrong turns. Either could apply. Uh, yeah. And that took us about four odd hours. So it's not bad. Lots of stops. Quite a bit of a scent. Garmin saying just shy of 2,000 feet, so yeah, not bad. Yeah, so that's Godalming Station in the background. Four stations wait, complete. Four, four stations, four hours and a bit. More like four stations, four and a half hours. Uh, yeah, very nice tea. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, we did. Just a bit of a dodgy bit on the A281, uh, which is still smarting, if I'm honest. Arthur, stop. I'll see you again. Take care.